Thanks for staying for sports and on Saturday, two teams punched their ticket to the Class A State Football Championship and now all eyes will be on one of the oldest rivalries in the state. First out west, the Laurel Locomotives are chugging their way back to the Class A title game. Laurel returns to the chipper with a gritty win over previously undefeated Hamilton 28-21 on Saturday afternoon. The Locos jumped out to a big lead early. But then the game became a bit of a chess match in the second half, but in the end, quarterback Eli Aby and his defense got the checkmate on Tyson Rostad's comeback hungry Bronx. They worked hard in the offseason. They come to practice every day. They, they work extremely hard. They watch a lot of film. They're students of the game. And they've just played well all season throughout everything that's going on. They, they've, they've just battled through and continue to play well. And, and uh, we, we want to finish this thing. We want to get back and we want to win a state championship. Hamilton's now fallen in the semifinals in each of the past two seasons. And Bronx head coach Bryce Carver says he's proud of how far this team went this fall, especially given the challenge Laurel presented. They fought and battled and were able to overcome a lot of adversity, um, you know, not only just today and in, in, in our season, but, you know, this whole year. And um, and that's what I told myself. I'm just really proud of you. It shows me your guys' character um, as young men, and, and that's what we try to instill here, and, and they did a great job. In Lockwood, it was an Eastern A showdown between undefeated Billings Central and the Miles City Cowboys. The last time these teams met, the Rams shut out Miles City 42-0. This time, the defending champs put up a great fight, but in the end, Central grinds out a 17-10 win. The Rams have rolled through what has become a revenge season of sorts, but they say that chip on their shoulder is still there. We remember last year, remember how it hurt, and we're not going to let that happen again. We're definitely looked at as the underdog, and we, we, we haven't liked that. And I mean, we're going to come out here every single week just to prove ourselves, and that's what we've been doing. So now the Class A state championship comes down to a rivalry dating back to 1951. Earlier this season, Central defeated Laurel 28-14. to It's sure to be a dogfight in a fitting way to end the Class A football season for these two Eastern A powers. Everything's so hyped up, and everything is just ready to go, and both teams are juiced. I mean, it's going to be fun, and it's going to be a hell of a game. It's like the perfect story, senior season. Laurel Rivalry State Championship, so we're really excited. Also on Saturday, Double A Volleyball and the Helena High Bengals took down Billing Senior to once again advance to the state semifinals. Bengals were very happy with how the team played. Elizabeth Heiser was unstoppable in the third set. And she says the team didn't want a repeat of last year when they lost the senior in the first round of the state tournament. We're all just excited to be here. You know, we're still, I think some of us are kind of surprised we're still playing so far um, into the season, especially with everything going on in the world right now. So we're all just happy to be here playing with each other. Staying with volleyball, the Fort Benton Longhorns took home another Northern Sea Divisional Championship on Saturday. SWX Montana's Elijah Collins was there with Coach Deacons. Coach, you guys, this is your back-to-back -back times, second times that you guys won this. Just give me your reaction. It was a great win for us. You know, I've got five seniors on the team, four of them that play a lot, and they really wanted this. And so, yeah, we're just excited to get back to the state tournament. So now you guys are getting ready to head to state. What is something that uh, you got to preach to your girls and something that's going to be a huge factor in getting results there as well? An early start. We have come out of the gate a little bit slow our last few games, and at state you cannot get in a hole. You can't dig yourself a hole because you can't get out of that. So we really need to come out and play hard from the get-go. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Shannon. I appreciate it. Back to you. Finally, it's time for the SWX Hit Play of the Week. The SWX Hit Play of the Week is brought to you by American Auto Body. Capital vs. Bozeman, who else but Paige Barsh. Beautiful set by Audrey Hofer over her head for Barsh, who hammers at home. Big kill for the Boise State commit in the Bruins when their 69th consecutive match. And that's your look at sports. We're right back after this.